Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. We will be continuing the series on division. Today we will be looking more specifically at division with a remainder. It is important to remember that when you get a remainder for your division question, this generally means that the divisor is not a factor of the dividend. That means that what you're dividing the number by or all, there will always be something left over, as you will see in our example today. In our example today, we have an organization packing PPE packs for schools. PPE stands for personal protection equipment, so those are things like face masks, hand sanitizer, those sort of things to help us protect ourselves from viruses. In each pack we have, they add six bottles of hand sanitizer. We need to find out how many packs can they make with 941 bottles. The first thing that we need to do with regards to this is, is find out what is our number sentence. What are we actually working out? So there are 941 bottles and we need to know how many packs they can make if there are six in each pack. So it's 941 divided by six. The next part of the question, I need to estimate my answer. So I've rounded 941 to the nearest 100 and six to the nearest 10, which gives me an answer of 90. So my answer should be somewhere around here. Not exactly, but somewhere around here. Next, I'm going to work out the question. So, I've chosen to use long division as my method. So, I've got 941 divided by 6. 9 divided by 6 is going to give me 1. And 1 multiplied by 6 is 6. Therefore, 9 minus 6 is 3. Then I bring down the 4, which my new number is now 34. 34 divided by 6 is equal to 5. And 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 30. 34 minus 30 gives me 4. Then I bring down the 1, and now I have 41. 41 divided by 6 gives me 6, and 6 multiplied by 6 is 36. So, the next thing I need to do is work out what is 41 minus 36. So, 11. So, I cannot minus 6 from 1, so I had to go over and borrow 1. So, which means I have 11 minus 6, which is 5 which turns my 4 into a 3, so it's 3 minus 3, which is 0. So there is a remainder of 5 bottles. So I can say in my num in my word or in my sentence at the end of my question is that the organization will be able to pack 156 packs with 5 bottles of sanitizer remaining. So that is how we would go about to answer the question, even if there is a remainder. Then the next part of the question that we always need to check before you move on to the next question is you need to check your answer. The way we check our answer is we multiply. We need to multiply our answer in order to see if we're going to end up with the same. So it's a little bit different if there is a remainder. So first things first, I'm going to work out what is 156 multiplied by 6. And my answer is 3, 936. And then at the end of that, I will add what numbers or the number that is remaining. So I have 936 plus 5, which gives me 941. So I'm right back to the answer that I started, which means that my original answer is correct. Here is a short exercise that you 
can try if you want. Please pause this video after I give the explanation and then I will be giving the answers straight after. So for number one, we need to first estimate each answer by using rounding off. We need to work out our answer and check our answer using multiplication. So we have four um, sums here that we need to work out. And then number two, we need to work out the following. The quotient of the division calculation is 57. The divisor is 89 and the remainder is 53. We need to work out what is the dividend. So that basically means we need to work out what number did we originally start with. At this point, you would need to pause the video to do the exercise. The next part will be the answers. So in 1A, we had 724 divided by 4. What I then did was, we first had to estimate our answer. So, 724, I rounded to the nearest tens. I had 720 divided by 4. 4 is too small for me to round up to the nearest tens, so I just left it at 4. So, we ended up with 180. So, my answer should be around 180. Next thing that I needed to do is... work out my answer and my answer is 181 I use long division as my method um, and you can see there is no remainder in this question and then to work out if my answer was correct I then multiplied 181 by 4 and I ended up with 724 in B I have 5,204 divided by 5. I first rounded my answer, my first, the dividend to the nearest 1,000, and my answer gave me 1,000. So my answer should be round about there. I then worked out, using the long division method, what my answer is, and I got 1,040 with a remainder of 4. Next thing that I need to do is work out my answer. I have one um, work out if I got the correct answer. So I multiplied 1040 by 5 and I got 5200 and then I added my remainder which is 4 which gave me 5204. That's how I know that my answer that I got was correct. For C, we had 5,784 divided by 60. I rounded the dividend by 6, uh, by um, 1000 which gave me 6000 divided by 60 which gives me 100 so my answer should be around about 100. I will then went to divide 5784 by 600. Um, I did the long division method but what I did was I worked out so I divided 5,784 by 60 using the long division method. On the side here, I wrote down what the um, what the multiples of 60 were. All I did was I worked out what was the multiple of 609 multiplied by 6 gives me 54. And then I just multiplied it by 10, which gave me 9 multiplied by 60, which is 540. The same thing with 6 multiplied by 6 gives me, th gives me 36. So if I multiply that by 10, it will give me 360. So that's how I got my um, answers 
down below over here when I had to subtract my when I need to do subtraction in the long division. So my answer came to 96 with a remainder of 24. I then worked out what is 96 multiplied by 60 and I got 5760. Then I added the 24 which gave me 5784. D, we had 8,494 divided by 150. I rounded up both the dividend and the divisor. So I rounded up the dividend to the nearest thousand and I rounded up the divisor to the nearest hundred. So that gave me 40. I then went ahead and did the division using long division again I worked out for when I got to these stages over here one to find out how much was 849 and 994 respectively what they were divided by 150 I first worked out what was 5 multiplied by 15 which gave me 75 right and then I multiplied it by 10, which gave me 750. So that means that I could easily then work out what is my next answer before I could bring down the next number. So I ended up with 56 with a remainder of 94. Then I worked out what my answer, if my answer is correct. So I multiplied 56 by 150 and I ended up with 8,400 and I ended, added what was remaining which was 94 and I got 8,494 which was the original answer that I started with. The last, the last question that we had where we had our quotient which was our answer that was 75. Our divisor which was 85 and our remainder that it was 53 we had to work out what was the divisor so it's basically working our way back so when we have to check our answer so I took 57 multiplied by 85 and I got 4845 next I added the 53 and I got 4898 Thank you so much for joining us. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next week, see you soon.